So the rest of today's notes on distance equals rate times time is your purple half sheet of paper. Here, you need to write your formula, distance equals rate times time. You need to know what the D and the R and the T stand for. Distance, rate, and time. What is rate? We've talked about the word rate in our rate of change notes. Rate is another name for ratio or fraction. It is a ratio that shows the relationship between distance and time. So in today's class, you literally rewrote this in other ways. You took D equals RT, then you solved for R by dividing both sides by T. Cross out the T's, R equals D over T. That's the relationship between distance and time. Then you took D equals RT and you solved for T. Divided both sides by R. These R's cancel out. T is equal to D divided by R. Examples of rates. Miles per hour. Feet per second. Inches per minute, and so on. The steps in solving this problem are to write down the formula. You've already written it down, so copy it again down here. Plug in the blank variables. That means plug in what you know. Those are the known variables. Then solve for the, well, what's the opposite of known? Solve for the unknown variable. Now you need to apply it in this simple D equals RT question. Helen is driving out of town. <clears throat> if she's driving 55 miles per hour for three hours, how far has Helen traveled? She's going at a rate of 55 miles per hour. She travels for three hours. I have my R and my T, and it says how far has she traveled. I need to know what D equals. Step one, write the formula. Step two, plug in the known variables. I know what R is, and I know what T is. D equals 55 times three. Finally, solve for the unknown variable. This means 55 times 3. D equals, you need your answer here, and you need to have it in the proper unit. <coughs> so distance is measured in miles, inches, feet, kilometers, meters. You need to choose the appropriate one that goes with this question. <coughs> 